and uh, I bid you welcome to the last edition uh, of uh, the Journalist Hangout for the week. I am Citizen Jones Hussein. Now, today on the program, Lagos alerts residents of Ogun River banks of release of the water from Onya Dam as federal government warns Nigerians to re relocate from river, rivers Niger and Benue banks over imminent flooding. How about this? INEC obeys court judgment, recognizes Abure as Labour Party national chairman, and later on will share this with you. Konwa protests exclusion from renegotiation of 2009 agreement with federal government, just as Sanu and Nasu also kick against non recognition. Uh, but let me report I'm hanging out with the one, the only. Babajide Kolade Otitoju BKO. I greet you, BKO. To the citizen, the yeah. viewers. Uh, BKO, we are joined by, you know him. On one boy. On one boy mm. uh, brushed up in Lagos. Yeah. Charles so, Ideho is there. Yes, we are in um, <laughs> uh, 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 okay. uh, okay. in uh, okay. states. But this is, this is important <laughs> for China. I mean, oh, China. So you, you rather patronize <laughs> no, no, the Chinese no, no, no. than <laughs> our people. Okay. He's it, reporting in Chinese, we never be able to do a direct. No, we not. As we're good as okay. the ones. Yeah. No, no. no. They, it's, it's, they are learning. Mm. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah. folks. Uh, the team is ready. I hope you are. Okay, let's go. You know, we are in the throes of a national emergency. And therefore, it calls for every hand to be on deck. The Lagos State Government has put residents and property owners at the Ogun River banks on notice ahead of a staggered release of water from the Onya Dam. The State Commissioner for the Environment and Water Resources, Tokumba Wahab, said residents of Lagos need to be alerted on the commencement of releases of water to maintain the sanctity of the dam and the socioeconomic implications of the state. Uh, again, the federal government has also warned Nigerians to relocate to higher ground because of a possible flooding after the Niger and Benue rivers banks may have been flooded. Because uh, we, 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 you know, we we keep get, getting our souls tried, so we are waiting for this. Yes, um, and it's already happening. Even in Kogi State, um, NEMA has already deployed uh, dozens of his staff okay. because Kogi is uh, uh, experiencing the pains of uh, flooding as we speak. Wow. You know, by the circumstances of his geography, mm. the rivers Benue and Niger. Meet mm, in Lokoja at that confluence. Yes, that confluence <laughs> in Lokoja, and both rivers, both rivers, get flooded whenever water is released from the Lagdo Dam in Cameroon. Wow! It is the, that's the river Benue now. Both river Benue uh, and Niger. Niger. Both okay. rivers. It's both rivers. When they, yeah, when they come to yes. That. For example, Adamawa is always. Heavily flooded whenever they release the water. And it wow. is River Benue that passes through Adama State. Yeah. It also passes through Taraba. Taraba experienced one of the worst flood flooding ever wow. Wow. two years ago when we had this same problem. So if you are, uh, the community is located along the banks of rivers Benue and Niger, Niger. you are not free from the pains. <laughs> that come with the release, with the inevitable release of uh, water. water from Lago Dam. Yeah. Here in Lagos, we also face the same problem because the Onyo Dam, located in Abekuta North local government, okay. Onyo River itself is one of the 52 tributaries of Ogun River. And, oh, really? Yes. And this Ogun River passes through Lagos State. So once you release water from Oyonda, it will come all the way. All of those communities, Lagos, in fact, will be forced to relocate people from Agility, for example, to okay. uh, safe areas, even places as distant as uh, Igondo. They uh -huh. go and keep people there. You know, they have a uh, resettlement uh, facility there where 
the police. So what we are saying is this is inevitable, but government must take steps to quickly move to help the most vulnerable in our society, the, um, the disabled persons or the physically yeah, challenged, physically as they like challenged. to be called, the uh, women and children. They must take steps. People have property, their properties will be in danger. Okay. At this time, these things are, are becoming a yearly thing. So that is why pressure has to be mounted on government, especially in northern Nigeria. Federal government must build a buffer dam that will be able to collect this water, this water coming is, from the Lago Dam. Released. Yes. Uh, okay. To not release it is to put people's lives at risk. You must release yeah. it, choose the right time to release it, gauge the weather, gauge the reports from NIMET and all that, know when every rains will happen. Yeah. So release from time to time, especially as we approach the dry season, release the water gradually. You cannot but release. If you don't release and the dam breaks, by itself. Yeah, it's for the integrity of the dam, yeah. And mm. na they, they say nature will rubbish. Yeah. It's and anything and on its path. We that thing. We mess that the it. Farmlands will Even lost. technology, nature will mess oh, the yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. Nature does not forgive. No, it doesn't. Uh, but it doesn't. Charles, this is not a, a time when Nigerians would say, it is not my, my... My portion. Uh -huh. No, it's, it's everybody's portion. It's everybody, every, everybody's <laughs> portion. But, uh, and the good thing is... everybody's cup of tea. Cup, cup of tea. <laughs> so we must drink it. Yeah. <laughs> So we must take heed. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and just like uh, what, what you said, and it, uh, it's, it's, an, it's an annual ritual. You have become an annual ritual, uh, annual ritual that uh, you have to release this dam, particularly to, in order to safeguard the integrity of the dams. As you said, mm. if you leave the water without releasing it, um, you have problem. And I also, I'm also happy, uh, as uh, Togumba Wahab said, that even the volume of water this year is even lower than that of, of last okay. year. Mm. And I'm also, also happy uh, to also hear that uh, Ogun, Oshun River Basin uh, Development Authority, you know, recently flagged off um, the dragging of the Ogun uh, River, I mean, uh, downstream, you know, from Ikorodu to Sherry. Now, I think that is, since, since this flooding is not a natural, design, a natural occurrence, yeah. so I would rather say, well, though it might cost so much money. So the dragging of that, of that those river basin or the river will help to deepen the channels so that when, when water is released, it will have the depth to flow. It doesn't have to break the banks yeah. to now begin to Just enter these homes. Water, we are told, will always... Yeah, we can find a level for water. What I'm saying is we can find a level for water. Mm. That level for water is that when you, when you, drag, you, you drag the channels... It, it, imagine what we're saying. Yes, when you screen. drag the channels, mm. then it makes it deep. Uh, below oh, yeah. yes, then you, 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 you increase the depth of, of the river channel. So that when you when you really like what he said about fifty tributaries, I mean, do you know what 52. it means? Fifty tributaries. Mm. I compare that data. I understand what I mean. Joshua from that, you know yeah, what tributaries yeah. mean. Mm. That all of them will now converge around yeah. Ikorodu, yeah. Ikorodu mm. Agility that you mentioned. So it's it's it's, it's, it's like you have the it's two Ode 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 so all the uh, all, the, all of those. So the body of water will now converge on those areas and then looking for space. Yeah, and mm. then the space. Will not be there they will not be looking for people's homes because as you said what i will always find is that so i think uh, the dredging of, of this of this channel as it i said cost money to help actually in the sherry area the sherry area, sherry area is kara so if you drag then you dip in the the river channel and then the, the you know? there's a need to channel do some channelization in that area it's okay. like it's, if it's even an iso mm. anytime they release this water you look at both sides, yes, you just you see yeah. plenty of water. Uh, yes, you know? exactly. It's just not right. And and, and then you know, you, 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 something something you don't know, like. You also know if you also do it for irrigation, also work for for irrigation. Oh yeah. oh yeah. For even off season, off season, off season uh, plant or the, yeah, yes, what they call uh, all the year round farming. Exactly. Oh, so yeah. it could yeah. also help. So, so I think it, if that's we, we why, should that's why we have those dams. The Oyon Dam, for example, mm. where is meant for both irrigation. And hydro, mm, okay. hydropower, hydropower ah, yeah, but yes. we have not uh, uh, explored the, the potential of hydro. Mm. These days, we rely so much on um, gas-fired uh, power plants, yeah. mm -hmm. whereas we have other sources 
of yeah, electricity yeah, generation. Yeah. We have numerous dams, and a lot of these dams can actually give us yeah, hydropower. And when yeah. when I works. went to Mambila, for example, yeah. to do a documentary. Yeah, I, I watched and, it. And, yes. I, I remember. Yes. I yes. I remember. There was a very small dam, mm. very small dam in uh, that uh, community, the, okay. the, the tea growing community, Kakara. It, Kakara is yeah. that, it is that dam that provides electricity. For, for the, the community. For the community, because they okay. need that electricity to keep the tea company going. And it doesn't have to be because on they national, work around it the doesn't have to be on national grid. No, it's That's not. Say, so decentralization it's of power, not. power supplies also It's good. not. So the people of the farming community, they benefit, they, they have 24 hours electricity. Through the CSRO of the it's company. It's very yes. small dam. But it serves them. It serves. So, you know how, how, how many more such dams we can They have in Ojiriba. Ojiriba that give, also serves the Oji. Oji, oh, yes. Yeah, 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 in the Ojiriba South East uh, Yes, exactly. Yeah. And give our people, mm -hmm. so that we don't... Brazil, for example, relies heavily on hydro. Mm -hmm. Water from the... Um, Amazon. Amazon, Amazon, yeah, yeah, Amazon yeah, River. Amazon, yeah, exactly. You know, South Africa relies on coal. Yeah. And South Africa does more than 40,000 megawatts, megawatts consistently. Yeah, exactly. And um, here... Here in Nigeria, Enugu is supposed to be the base. To be the base. Exactly, for the coal. For, for the coal, coal. yes. yes. But you see, the thing is, the same way we refuse to um, explore other sources mm, of, make, of diversifying mm. our economy, yes. of making our economy stronger, the same way that we have abandoned other the sources resources. of electricity generation. Look at solar, for example. We have plenty, plenty Somebody. of sunlight mm -hmm. wasted if you go i i, I was told that uh, what, there is a, a place uh, in bauchi around the jamari area mm -hmm. that is one of the hottest parts of our country mm -hmm. you know so what what why are we allowing that place to just lie in waste just lay solar so farms we, we, solar farms yes there and then um, mm. you know there is an airport in india that runs 24 hours on solar wow. airport and and I, 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 I brings me to Morocco, which is the leading country that is uh, uh, leading in the mm. solar solar energy generation. Yes, yes. just as Iran is leading in CNG. And I, I yeah, but these are third world countries. And I, and I saw these are not things so, beyond, us. beyond so, us. Supposedly, exactly. yeah. And and in Japan, I watched a documentary where as people are walking on the street, uh, power is being uh, uh, electricity being powered. Even if they are, ah. like we have BROT buses, BROT terminals, mm. you have uh, people coming over there as they are walking. You are generating power. Yeah, I mean that's that's what's the technology. That's, I don't know that. No, no, is there? I watched the documentary. I mean last week. Just walking. Well, because there's a way they there's a way they did it. Yeah, they, because, they, they put it on the on, on the tarmac. So as you are walking on it, you are pressing certain. Oh, uh, certain okay, okay. Okay. Light. okay. I watched okay. it. So these are these are so ways that, that, that is thinking out of thinking the box. out of exactly. Yes. Mm. And exactly. If we look at but we are those, stuck to the analog system. Egypt. Egypt has more electricity than it needs. Mm -hmm. Wow. Egypt is already thinking of exporting electricity to some neighboring European yeah, countries like Cyprus. Imagine, oh, wow. you know? oh, imagine so, across the Mediterranean. I mean, it, we, these, these things <laughs> are doable. We are all third world countries. Let's even look at what our peers are doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. And then we agree that our mates. Back in the 60s, they've left us behind. Countries like uh, uh, Singapore, mm, Brazil, uh, Brazil, India. Yeah, we were mates. I back all, we were the same I back level. Cambodia, all of them are they the all left us they, behind. They gone, they but at least the ones that we are still uh, the, the same was reasonably group. at power. The same was that group. Let's <laughs> let's try to replicate yeah, what they two mm. are doing yeah. uh, so that we yeah. can get better. This one, this uh, idea of uh, people not having electricity and then because a few people have, you come and tell us that electricity oh, yeah. has improved. The most illiterate way mm. of determining whether electricity has improved is simply to look at, oh, these people yeah, who yeah, are not yeah. having light before, uh -huh. they now have. You <laughs> will know from the generating capacity, oh, from boy. the willing capacity of the uh, TCN, and from the distributing capacity of the discourse, that is how you know how much was generated, how much was we, how much was distributed. Yeah. Okay. You cannot, you cannot just uh, off the top of your head determine that electricity has improved 
if there is no improvement in generation, 40%. and allied to improvement in uh, uh, oh. wheeling capacity by TCN and right. distribution. And water okay. is wasting. All right, thank you. Um, <laughs> water is wasting. Water is flooding our flooding. <laughs> Essentially, what we do here is uh, give context to any story uh, and shed light on it. In the process, uh, we mold opinion. Yeah. So be, be warned. I'll leave it to you. Uh, the coming days might be tough days for uh, Lagosians mm -hmm. and people in Oyo State yeah. and neighboring states. Um, water will be released from the Oyo Dam. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, and water is coming from Lagdo. That yeah. one will affect Good. so many states. Yeah, but, yeah, Kaisa, the, Delta, yeah, exactly. all of those states where you are. They are the, they are the receiving uh, no, no. the funds. And so there is no question of it is not my portion. It is everybody's portion, please. Water will not spare you. You must be you... vigilant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, be vigilant. Yeah. All right, then, to our next story. You know, 